Okay, this is a boogie woogie, different styles, and we're going to concentrate on the left hand. And just for reference, that's middle C there, that's the one below middle C, and that's the one two octaves below middle C, and that's our starting point. We'll look about five or six or seven different left hand patterns today, and we'll do the right hand another time. So first of all, we'll start at the simplest, and we'll work up from there. So, <clears throat> C and G. Two of them. And then two with C and A. And then back. And you get that little thing, sort of boogie, boogie, boogie train feel. But obviously, don't hold your fingers like that. I'm just doing that so you can see. And then you go up to F. So you'd be well advised to practice that over and over till you can get that. That chord structure is the same with um, all the patterns we're going to do today. Right, the next one. It's very simple again, two of these, but this time we do the middle two, like that, so. That's that type of thing. Up to F. Go up to G. on the C. Okay, now we'll look at some more. <clears throat> Those are <clears throat> just take lots of practice. The next one I'm going to show you is a bit more awkward, but it's got a real good rhythmical feel to it. And it's um, two of the C's. Then we're going to play E flat and A. So, and then back to the C. So, two, one, one. Then we're just going to play a C major chord, the E and the... And these two. So the whole thing slowly is. And again. Get it faster. You've got to work on this one really slowly and build it up a bit. Good, up to F. And so on. The chord sequence is the same. And uh, uh, to make that one step more complex again is if you do this. And then rather than going, you go, so you get this. That's uh, takes a bit more coordination that one. So we've covered, we've covered, and and now we've gone through at breakneck speed, so you can just watch those over and over. Now the one classic boogie woogie riff of all time is, I'll just play it real slow, it's easy, but it, it just needs practice to get it fast. And it's all octaves. C, C, E, F, F sharp, G, G, G. What's important with this one is the fingering. Don't just think you can do any old fingering, you've got, you've got to do it. So you can turn there to get that thumb little finger action. And then in F again, fingering slightly different in F, but the note's exactly the same. Sorry. Back to C. So we've done it in C in F, I've done the notes. And in G. And end, ending on the C. And um, 
we'll, we'll end uh, with uh, two more riffs, very both both based around. <laughs> So you've got C, C, E, E, G, G, A, A, C, C, A, A, G, G, E, and so on. And an F that would translate to, you've got the F, A, C, D, F, D, C, A, C, so. Go back to the C. G and then back to the C and if you're really good you can try doing it in triplets so you go C C and then back to the C again so C C C E few different left hand styles there as I said just watch them over slower slow and so you've got the fingering right and always work from slow to fast and if you do use any old fingering you can get your fingers tied up in a right knot so good luck everyone and we'll do right hand licks next time bye bye